Welcome back to Found in the River on YouTube. Uh, today we are going to be diving at Peacock Springs in Live Oak, Florida. Uh, Aaron and I uh, are the only divers. Uh, Paul and Nick uh, couldn't be here this weekend, uh, so we're missing them, but uh, we're going to uh, give this one a shot. Uh, also, this is a uh, the first video we've posted since the reaction to our video by Dive Talk, Gus and Woody. Um, this was, uh, if you're not familiar with that one, uh, Dive Talk uh, is a fantastic channel. I, I, divers or non-divers, it would be a great idea to go check them out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. But uh, Gus and Woody are cave divers who react to videos found on the internet. And our video was worthy of some serious criticism. Um, all out of love, obviously. Um, we didn't take uh, offense to it. We, uh, it's been seen... You know, this, this video probably, not this one, but the one they reviewed had maybe uh, 23 views. Maybe, no, I'm sorry, it was closer to 40 views um, in, in a year that it had been posted. And right now, after a couple of weeks, there's 50,000 views uh, just through their channel alone. So it, it got a lot of attention and we took a, we took a, a, a mental and emotional beating on it. But um, I know that it was all out of love, a lot of concern, uh, a lot of people saying, you guys are stupid. Um, some people saying, my God, I'm glad you guys made it out alive. Um, it, you know, the video itself is not a dramatic video unless you understand what you're looking for, looking at. Um, we were in a place that we were not qualified to go into and it was, it's just not something that we condone. I took down all of the videos on our channel simply so I could, you know, post videos that better represented the dive community instead of making it look like, uh, you know, a bunch of renegades out there you know doing things they shouldn't do because that's exactly how it appeared and uh so this is our first video posting since that um airing of of our video on dive talk um and anybody who has seen that video and they watch this video uh they'll notice that you know things look a whole lot different now uh, than they did a year and a half ago so uh, we did um pursue cave training um which we love we love it absolutely love it um, we got to actually meet Gus and Woody, and it was um, it was wonderful. They were very hospitable to us. They they were just uh, the the greatest guys you'd, you'd ever want to know. Um, I know on their channel they get a lot of uh, you know, people, not a lot, but some people say, oh, they're arrogant. They think they're better than everybody else. I can tell you firsthand after meeting them and the time they took with my son, um, Gus let him put on his rebreather and you know just talk to us. You know they were busy trying to get ready for their dive and. They took the time to talk to us, and I, you know, I, I, I felt bad because they really made it a point to uh, um, you know, take time to, to explain things to us and, and, and talk to us, you know, like fellow fellow cave divers. And it's uh, they're they're just very humble. So that was uh, that was very nice. Um, so here you see uh, we're, we just went down the, the crevice or the wall, uh, the vertical crevice that uh, drops down into the cave zone, uh, into the cave here at uh, Peacock Springs on the main line and what Aaron's doing is he's going to uh, well, me and Aaron I'm the I'm filming so you'll see Aaron in the video um, but uh, we are headed up to pothole and that's where the bone shelf is the bone shelf if you're not familiar is just a shelf that's uh, cut into the limestone uh, naturally cut in um, and it literally looks like a shelf <laughs> and uh, on that are a bunch of bones fossils and artifacts that uh, the divers have found in the um, uh, in the caves and they always bring them back to this one spot so that you know all the divers that come in can, uh, can look at them and enjoy them um, that way everything's sort of in one one location uh, so that's where we're going and we, we might go a little bit uh, beyond that um, but, you know, but we definitely our, our objective is to uh, check out the uh, bone shelf so hope you enjoy the video if you do uh, please sub subscribe I do want to say a big thank you to the people who subscribe coming here from Dive Talk um, because they, you know, we we only had 23 subscribers, which was all friends and family. Um, now we have almost double that, maybe. And you know, not that it's a lot, but it's a it's a big improvement. And it's people who joined because they they cared. You know, they wanted to see what we were doing and how we progress. And this is the first video to really show that. Um, the video on Dive Talk is only available through the link at Dive Talk. So if you go to Dive Talk's YouTube channel and look for open water divers uh, go into eagle's nest 
that's the one. So the link is there. It's, it's not a published video anymore, but it is still there. Uh, you can either watch it on their channel, uh, or if you want to link directly to it, uh, back to our channel, they did put the link in the description. So um, please check out the links in, in our description. That'll take you to Dive Talk, and also we'll link to a couple videos about the uh, the origins of Peacock Springs, but really about the history of it, uh, about it being mapped out by a legendary cave diver, Sheck Exley, um, and a couple other videos uh, that are very, very good. And if you're not a cave diver, or if you're just getting into scuba diving, if you're not a diver at all, it'll, I think that you'll find it very interesting because the Florida aquifer system is a very complex thing um, and you don't realize how much we rely on that not to sustain life, really. That's where all of our drinking comes from. So anyways, um, enough of that. Let's get to the video and uh, I'll make little comments here and there, but uh, please enjoy.
as we approach the exit here, um, the entrance and exit to the cave is a vertical crevice. You'll see Aaron kind of go up and disappear into the crevice, and then you'll see I'll kind of move in behind him. And you kind of see how tight the crevice is. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not uh, something that you can't fit through, but it's just a cool feature um, that you never would. If you didn't know it was there, it'd be hard to spot this as an exit simply because there's lime or limestone arch right there that you see and then behind it so you might not think that that's actually way out there wasn't a guideline um so anyways um you see it there that's the crevice that you have to come in and, uh, you know enter and exit through it's really cool probably maybe 20 feet um you know, through the, through that uh, crevice maybe 25 i'll have to uh pay attention to that next time um as far as our gear goes um we and then we, we use the Orca Torch um, brand. Uh, Aaron has the D620, um, the D700s, and D530s uh, for our video lights. And um, we also got have an order the 560, I believe it is, maybe 580. I'll have to go back and look. But, uh, we, uh, we're pretty impressed with the Orca Torches. Uh, they've, they've served us very well, um, and we, we love them. Um, as far as our dive gear, we both use the dive right uh, fins. We both use uh, dive right C's, um, side mount rigs. He uses the LS, I use the XT Nomad. I'm a little bit of a bigger guy. Um, we primarily carry the dive right side, uh, side winder or slide lock reels. Um, Paper 100s, high pressure 100 tanks. Uh, the XT, um, the dive right XT uh, regulator sets. Um, side mount obviously um what else and we have two computers um a scuba pro and the garmin mk2i and i think that's about it i haven't mentioned anything i apologize um, but that's where we are now compared to where we are where we were when uh they uh reviewed, reviewed our <laughs> uh, video when they reacted to our video when we were at eagle's nest um so it's no longer a dance party, hopefully. Hopefully we've shown some improvement. Um, feel free to comment. Um, good, bad, or indifferent. It, uh, it makes, makes no difference. It's all about the growth. Uh, so it, we, we welcome that opportunity as well. Um, again, very special thanks to uh, Gus and Woody. Um, we, we watch all of their videos. It's just amazing what they've been able to uh, convey to us, teach us uh, through their videos. We actually became, um, we sought out cave training after finding them on YouTube um, and listening to them. We, you know, Monday after Monday, every Monday they post a video and we'd watch it and we'd say, wow, that's, that's us. That's what we, We've done that. We, we've kind of been in that same foolish situation a dozen times. So we, uh, they encouraged, not unknowingly, they encouraged us to seek out cave training and we're very, very happy that we did. We have learned a lot. Uh, we, we learned we finally know what we didn't know, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and, you know, it's, a, it's unbelievable. Uh, I, I, I can't explain it. I can't justify, you know, why we or other divers um, will go beyond their training on their limits you know, just for the sake of the thrill or you know, the unknown or exploration. I can't explain it. I, 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 just, I just don't know why we did it. Um, but I know now that don't and we won't um, push ourselves past our training um, in the future. Uh, seeing some of the things that have gone wrong and can go wrong, um, the fact that we have seen where people have passed away, um, even people with an immense amount of training, uh, things can go wrong and it's, um, sometimes all the training in the world doesn't prepare you for some things. Uh, but anyways, long story short, we learned a very valuable lesson. Uh, hopefully, we've demonstrated that here. Uh, we will post f uh, further videos each and every week uh, that we dive. We try to dive every weekend. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, thanks for commenting. Um, and thank you so much for subscribing. Have a great day and uh, enjoy the tail end of the video. Thanks.